All right, guys. Um, I'm here with part three of my CD collection. Uh, we're still in black metal. We're starting off with atmospheric black metal. Um, same as last video, filming these one after another. Same thing. Supreme Black Forces of German Steel by Moonblood playing in the background. Again, Taste Our German Steel and We Are at War on here. Very cool. Uh, Moonblood is a new acquire, a new, what is the word? I don't know, a new addition to my, my, um, <laughs> my taste. Oh my god, I'm retarded. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start talking about records before I start babbling like a retard. This, uh, this first one is apparently extremely elusive and expensive. This is, uh, December 4th with the album Contestants, uh, Quebec, Ambient Black Metal. Uh, Burzum esque, obviously. There's a lot of that Quebec scene is very Burzum esque, except for some of the bands. Uh, yeah, this is super dark, super ominous sounding. Uh, it's got those tormented, shrieky vocals. And uh, last I checked on Amazon, this was selling for like $312. Or at least it was asking price for that. And I don't think I ever saw it go under like $150. So that's ridiculous that I got this for ten dollars. So yeah, some reports. Next, same band. Um, Where you made the glass? The some reports. Um, once again, another one that is pretty elusive and expensive. Uh, I prefer quintessence to this one. This one seems just. I don't know. This one just. There's something about quintessence that I prefer to this one. And, um, it's continuing the same style. I feel like this one's a bit faster. Maybe that's what I... That's my beef with it in comparison to Quintessence. But this is, nonetheless, this is a very great, great album. Next one is... Or an iconic uh, atmosphere of black metal act. I'm sure we all know it. This is my favorite album by this band. Not Mina Morgul, sorry. Stronghold by Summoning. Summoning is the atmospheric black metal band, basically. Everybody knows this one. Like, everybody knows this band. It's... They come up with some of the coolest song titles, like... Riding Horse on the Deadly Ground. Where Hope and Daylight Die. Long Lost to Where the... Where No Path Goes. Just... There's stuff like that. It sounds so cool to me. It's so nerdy, and I love it. So, if you haven't checked out Summoning for some reason, check this one out. Um, I prefer it to Minus Morgul for some reason, but it's very cool. Next one is like a, a, it's called Dark Metal on the Metal Archives, and I was like, that is a really stupid name. So, this is in my atmosphere black metal. This is uh, their debut, Marius. War, Warris, Marius, I don't know, Five Over Falls, this is straight folk, um, neo-folk actually, I would say, but, um, all acoustic guitars and drums and keyboards and such, and it's just, it's very cool, um, what is the other one? Oh my god, I haven't listened to the other one in a while, my friend bought this CD, and then he lost it, and I was gonna buy it from him. It's got like pine trees and there's a reflection in the lake. I don't know. Uh, it'll come to me probably after the video after I've already looked. So really, uh, really stupid, very successfully. So yeah, it's October Falls. If you like neo folk, uh, you will have no problem with this one. Next one, continuing neo folk by a band that is shoddy, but the first three albums or maybe four albums are very, very good. This is a uh, Club S. Changer by Oliver. This is, again, just folk. Um, I've actually never seen it before. I'm, like, I've never heard anybody talk about this one. And I saw it was Oliver, and I realized that it didn't have, like, a stupid black cover with some weird gray stuff on it, like all their electronic music has. Um, so I bought it blind by, I guess, you could say. And it, uh, yeah, it's just folk music with... Those Viking y chant vocals, you know, the, the Norse ones that are very, 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 very overdone, I guess. Um, yeah, Albert. Next is some Lithuanian 
atmospheric black over black metal. This is Yurks Kamag with the album Passover. Uh, this is very, very cool. Uh, if you are into Emperor and Satyricon, you will go nuts for this. Like, this is so cool. It's uh, limited to 500 copies. Um, it was a blind buy for me. And I, it's just, it's very Emperor-esque. Like in the Night Side Eclipse with a bit uh, less raw production. And I know that album is not exactly raw, but uh, this isn't as raw as that. So, I have a good feeling you guys will dig this if you like those bands. So I would check this out. This is Yerskimug. U-R-S-K-U-M-U-G. Next one. American Atmospheric Black Metal Icons, basically. Celestial Lineage by Wolves in the Throne Room. Um, this is my first introduction to Wolves in the Throne Room. And I'm very, very glad I got this one first because I've listened to most of them and this has sufficiently managed to stay my number one choice. Um, really, really good album. There's not much to be said about this. This is just what you expect from these guys. It's just that really one-of-a-kind sound in atmospheric black metal that I just, you, you really can't get enough of it. Um, yeah, Woes in a Throne Room is just, they create an atmosphere like no other. And uh, it's beautiful, but they're fast and it's beautiful, which is not usually how it goes, at least in my ears. But that's still cool. This next one is like a, a pagan, uh, symphonic, atmospheric-esque black metal band. This is a uh, Canadian band, Volknoff, with Chance de Guerre, or Gary, I don't speak French, my apologies. Uh, very, very epic sounding. Um, they speak French, and it is very well produced, so it's hard to, obviously I can't decipher what they're saying because I don't speak French, but this is a great, great album. Uh, I'm not nearly as seasoned with this album as their other ones, uh, but this is very good. Nonetheless, if you just like that pagan style of black metal, he'll take this. Next one, this is the one that I know a lot better. This one is uh, the one that I found first, called Sacrifice Dam Damir, I believe that's how you say it. I saw the album cover, uh, back when I was starting to get into extreme metal, I looked up, you know, uh, Associate Acts from Modern Mark, and for some reason these guys came up, which doesn't make any sense, but uh, I saw this album cover, I was like, wow. So, I downloaded it when we downloaded, and uh, I found luck. More pagan black metal, really. Um, just really good, really one of a kind sounding, but it definitely fits into a genre, the pagan sound. Um, yeah, this is super ridiculously good, guys. I would check this out. Like, Volknot, seriously, check it out. Next, um, Blind Buy. Once again, a lot of these albums were Blind Buys for me, and uh, I think that's what's really gotten me into extreme music in the underground. Oh, I remember... This album was from the exclusive company in Greenfield, Wisconsin. I saw Luke Hammerhart show this in his top 10 albums of all time. This is Vigrid with Throne of Forests. This is a great album, guys. Like, oh my god. These are, they're from the Ukraine? Um, it's very Emperor-esque. Pagan, black metal, with a gorgeous, gorgeous album cover. I, um... Uh, I don't think I could be happy with this blind buy. Like, seriously, I got this for like seven bucks, and I guess this is a slightly rare. But, um, obviously, when I got this, this is like, I purposely went up there when I first got into black metal, like hardcore, spent every penny I had on anything that looked black metal. I got something like this, I got like Finster Forest, I got Thierry, I got all that kind of stuff. I saw Have a Hay, it scared me, and I didn't, <laughs> I didn't buy it because it scared me. But, yeah, yeah, this is a great blind buy. Next. A very rare band, I guess, to get stuff from this album is hard for me to uh, pronounce, so I'm not even going to try it, but this is Vinericket. You could, uh, if you know Vinericket, you've seen this. They mix uh, dark metal, which is a stupid term, 
ambient black metal. Uh, very, very emotional sounding music. Very, very dark, like misty feel. Dark. It's just, it's great. I, I had a phase where I was listening to like Passage to Hiver and Vinner Ricket nonstop for probably a week and a half. And yeah, this is great. Check out Vinner Ricket if you're into ambient black metal. Next, we have finally entered the territory of old school black metal and the likes. This is um, Revelations of the Black Flame, Works of Fire and Hell by 1349. Only 1349 album that I own for now because I'm going to purchase more. The two disc set. Um, I don't know much about this release. I just know it's 1349 and I enjoy that. So I'm not going to yammer on about something I don't know about. Oh, the second one is <laughs> Live in Stockholm. Very cool. Next, a band that everybody's got a radio for for some reason. This is La Grande Infame by Akita. Uh, harsh Noise, Punk, and Rob Black metal mixed together from Canada. Everybody loves these guys recently. And I just, uh, I don't know. I can't get crazy into it like most people. So sorry to tell you guys, but like, I would love your guys' help if you could uh, help me get into these guys. Next is some Swedish melodic black metal. Uh, I don't know much about these guys, but uh, it's Swedish melodic black metal. It sounds like Children of Bodom. Got more black metal. This is Self 666 by Apostasy. Um, told my friend to blind buy this, and I told him if I didn't, if he didn't like it, I would get it from him. Sometimes he didn't like it. Now I have it. Yeah. If you wanted to hear Children of Bod Bodom basically playing black metal. That's it, it's just got that bombastic keyboard sound. Next, the originators of black metal. Uh, my favorite album by them, which is not a popular opinion apparently, this is Blood Fire Death by Bathory. Only a CD I own by Bathory. I need to pick up the other ones, obviously. A uh, very terrible pressing. I paid 15 bucks for this and I shouldn't have, but I was like, you know, I really need this. Um, yeah, this is a great album. Brothers Who Died, Holocaust, you know, A Fine Day to Die, all that. Everybody knows this stuff. This is just a great, great album. Next band I just saw, this is As Was by Black Anvil. This is like a progressive black metal, progressive black doom band. Uh, very cool. I just saw them open for Mayhem and Inquisition, and they killed it. New York black metal. Amazing. Next, old school black metal, Strange Old Brew by Carpathian Forest. Um, everybody knows this stuff. Like seriously, you guys gotta know Carpathian Forest. Uh, very generic, very generic old school Norwegian black metal, but nonetheless, very good. They just have that sound, you know, the Yer uh, Yerge Hall, uh, Carpathian Forest, 1349 Goldroff sound. Shooter. Next, an album that's alright. This is Damnation and Day by Cradle of Filth. Not too crazy about Cradle of Filth, uh, but I do like their first, their early stuff, you know. Pleasures. Pleasures of the Flesh is an Exodus album. Oh my god. Just the early stuff. Yeah. That's alright. It's way too long. Way, way too long. And the last one for the video, right here, is the uh, commentary version of Dark Throne Scope Lord. Commentary and regular album, although I don't think I've listened to the regular album more than like three times. I really love those commentary. Um, really weird album, like really weird album. Yeah, I'm sure you know this if you're a Dark Throne fan, and it's goofy as hell. It's recorded in the Blazing Northern Sky sessions and put vocals into in 1996, I believe. And then you got the commentary, which is what I listen to most of the time. So that's it, guys. Um, that's part three. I have a lot more to go. So stay tuned. Got more black metal coming to you. Keep it greasy.